Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is extend the work that we've been doing from the previous video. Remember, in the previous video, I showed you that any line has the form y equals mx plus c, where m was the gradient and c was the y-intercept. So, I'm assuming that you've watched that. Now, in this video, what I want to do is to take you through two very common questions. The first one is where we're asked to find the equation of a line passing through a point with a given gradient. And the other example is where you're asked to find the equation of a line passing through two points. So let's start with this first one here, where we've got to find the equation of the line passing through the point minus 2, 5 with a gradient of minus 3. Now for this first question, what I'd encourage you to do is to draw a sketch. If you draw a sketch, it gives you an opportunity of just checking to see whether what you get as an answer looks sensible. So, draw my axis there. We've got the point minus 2, 5, so it's minus 2, 5 up. Let's say it's this point here. Mark the coordinates in as minus 2, 5 and we've got a line with a gradient of minus 3. So it's going to be sloping downwards. So it's going to look, I would have thought, something like this. So just draw it like that. OK, so we know it's got a gradient of minus 3, so we've already got the fact that the line will take on the form y equals minus 3x plus c, m being the gradient. So I'm just going to write that in here, that the line has the form, okay, has the form y equals minus 3x plus c, c being the y-intercept down here. And to work out c, we know that this point, minus 2, 5, is a point on the line. So therefore, it must satisfy this equation. In other words, when x is minus 2, y will be 5. So we would need to just state that fact. So we'll just say here when x equals minus 2, y equals 5. And if we substitute these values into here, we're therefore going to have for y, 5 equals minus 3 times x, which is minus 2, plus c. So what we've got here is therefore 5 equals minus 3 times minus 2 is 6 plus c. And if I take 6 from both sides, c will equal 5 minus 6, which is going to be minus 1. And that seems to agree reasonably well with the sketch here. This point here, the y-intercept, will be minus 1. So a valuable check anyway. And to round this up, we've got, therefore, the equation OK, it's a good idea, I think, to write a little intro here. Equation of line. OK, don't write equals, just write is. The equation of the line is y equals minus 3x and then plus c. c is minus 1, so we're adding minus 1, just giving us minus 1 there. OK, now for this second question here, as I said, this is a very common type of question as well. Find the equation of line passing through two points. Those points here are A at minus 1, minus 2, and B with coordinates 2, 4. So again, I want to draw a sketch for this. So we'll have something like this, y-axis and our x-axis. Okay. We've got the point A, minus 1, minus 2. So minus 1, minus 2, somewhere down here. OK, we'll just mark that in as A with coordinates minus 1, minus 2. And then you've got the point B, coordinates 2 across, 4 up. So let's say it's, say, there. OK, that's the point B with coordinates 2, 4. So already I can see that the gradient here is going to be positive. So that's valuable because you never know, might make a mistake on calculating the gradient. And at least I can see that it's got to come out as a positive answer. And that's what we've got to do. We don't have that gradient. 
So we need to work out the gradient first of all. So we'll just come in here with the gradient of AB. And remember, to work out gradient, it's the difference in Y divided by the difference in X. So if I start with B coordinate, first of all, it's going to be 4 for the Y coordinate minus the Y coordinate here, minus 2. And then it's divided by difference in the X coordinates. Remember, I started with B, so I must take the 2 there. And then it's minus the X coordinate here, which is minus 1. And working this out, we've got 4 minus minus 2, which is 6. And that's divided by 2 minus minus 1, which is 3. And so it's going to give us a gradient of positive 2. Remember, you'll get exactly the same answer if you do minus 2 minus 4, all divided by minus 1 minus 2. OK? Now that we've got the gradient, we're a step closer to getting the equation a line. We now know that, therefore, the line has the form, okay, and that form is essentially y equals 2x plus c. So this is very similar now to what we had at this stage. We had a point on the line, and we just had to substitute the coordinates of that point into the equation and we could work out what the constant c was. So we can do exactly the same here. But with this question, we've got two points. We've got point A and we've got the point B. So which one do we take? Well, it doesn't matter, as I'll show you. If we were to take A, let's just put here using the point A, okay? We would say that when x equals minus 1, y equals minus 2. So when x equals minus 1, we've got y equaling minus 2. So therefore, what we would have if we substitute this into here, we're going to have minus 2 equals 2 times x, x was minus 1, plus c. So we've got minus 2 equals minus 2 plus c. So that means if I add 2 to both sides, we end up with c equaling 0, so therefore c equals 0. And that means that the equation of the line will be y equals 2x. So therefore the equation, just write that intro again, equation of line is y equals 2x. And you can see with the constant c, the y-intercept here, being zero, it seems to agree quite nicely with my sketch. Now, I did say that I'd run through using the other point, B, so what we'll do is we'll say using B, and you should see that we end up with exactly the same answer. So, taking B, we've got that when x equals 2, y equals 4, Substituting these two values into here, we therefore have 4 equals 2 times x, that's 2 times 2, plus c. So we've got 4 equals 4 plus c. Take 4 from both sides, you get c equals 4, take away 4, which means that therefore c equals 0. So either way, doesn't matter which point you use, okay? So it should give you that equation of the line. So I hope that's been of some value to you and you can see now how to handle questions like that where you're given a point on the line and the gradient or a line that passes through two points. Okay, so thanks for listening and as I say, hope that uh, helps.